There we go. Hey everybody, we'll give everybody a couple seconds here. It is Monday, and this is Daily Reflections. I'm sorry I've been away for a while. I've had a bunch of stuff I had to get done. And I am Jeffrey Jansen. We're going to give everybody just a few seconds to come on. Okay. And then we will get started. How is everybody doing out there tonight? Okay, we'll give everybody just a few more seconds. It's... I gotta keep checking what time it is. It is nine o'clock exactly. <laughs> All right, everybody. My name is Jeffrey Jansen, and this is Daily Reflections. Um, I kind of got away from it a little bit. I got a little bit busy over the last few days and everything else. And tonight, I was given a reminder that sometimes we must keep up what we're doing because it does help people. It does let people understand. Even if others don't understand why we do it, they have the choice to watch what they don't. Uh, the reason why I do daily reflections is to get a reminder out about who our everyday heroes are in life. Uh, it also gets the point across about the veterans that are committing suicide every day, the 22 veterans. It gets out the point of our uh, men and women in law enforcement and how they're heroes, but why they're heroes. Not the the less than 1% that make the the 99 and a half, uh, the 99% uh, percent look bad, okay? Because 99% of all police officers are good. You know, to get the point out about our school teachers and how great our school teachers are and how much we need them in life and how much we must let them know how much they matter. And every time they teach our children, we must show compassion because those that's our future. We also let everybody know what nurses and why nurses are important. Okay? Now, why do I do this? Because I have a nine-year-old daughter. I am a single father that has a nine-year-old daughter who I love with my entire heart. And I know there's a lot of parents out there that love their children. There's a lot of people out there that would love to be parents, and they're great people. And every single day, we just want to let you guys know that you matter and that things that you would never think are important are. Every day, I do a different thing to let people know, to get motivated. And I've had people not even understand what motivation means and why every single day I tell you to strive for a goal. Set a goal for yourself and reach it. You know, the first thing we always have to do to be better people is we have to build from the, from the inside out. Okay, some people use religion. Some people use spirituality. Some people use meditation. Some people use sports. Some people use the military. But you got to build yourself. Okay, you want to know the key to success in life? The key to success in life is to believe in yourself. The second part of that is to set your goals. Set your goals to where, where you want your goals to be. Whether that's a good, being a good father, a good mother, a good parent, a good aunt, a good uncle, a good friend. Whether that's to do good by other people. Um, whether it's to run a race, run a marathon, get in shape, work out, eat healthier, eat less fats, eat less carbs. Whatever it is, you need to be motivated. You need to set that goal for yourself. And not just set the goal. Write the goal down, okay? One of the things I tell everybody is, look, when was the last time that you called that friend you haven't talked to forever? You know that one that's always in the back of your mind? That, oh, uh, or when's the last time you called an old family member or a friend or went and visited your mom and dad? You know, these are goals. And the reason why they become goals is because we get so busy with our everyday life, we forget about those that matter and with those that are important. And sometimes we need a reminder from people like me to let these people know Look, go out there and talk with them. And that person you could be talking to, they could mean just that one thing. I've picked up the phone several times in the last couple of days and the people were actually sending me text messages as I was calling them. Just so I could tell them, hey, how you doing? And you know what? They were calling me and that was pretty cool. Now, why is this important? You're like, oh, this is just boring rant from somebody that doesn't matter. It does matter. It matters every day because 22 of my brothers and sisters every day are committing suicide because they do not feel they're good enough or they're important. They've got legal bills. They have legal situations. They have all kinds of problems. And nobody is getting to them. And the only experience I get, well, you know what? They volunteered. That's their problem. Or, oh, well, you know what? Somebody else will take care of them. Or, oh, they got the VA. Or they, they've got... Uh, no, they don't. You know what they have? They have... A paycheck that they cashed in blood. 
They have families that are broken now because they chose to fight for your freedom because they couldn't be home every day. Let's face it, the divorce rate in the military is 80%, if not higher. And there's not a single one of my friends on here that have been in the military that can probably tell me otherwise. We have seen that these guys, they get out and they're broken. And you don't know why they're broken. I don't know why they're broken. I can tell you that PTSD is a silent killer. But then let's not just worry about them, okay? Now I'm going to go on to our friends that are not military that are suffering from depression. They're suffering from a, a lack of inside of feeling like they're not worthwhile, feeling they're worthless, or feeling they're alone. The men and women that are in the nursing homes... That's the reason why I say, go out and be good to people. You don't know whose life you're going to change. You don't know how much good you can do for somebody. You don't know how important it is for maybe that one person that is something kind to you just to say thank you. Anymore, look at the kids that are out there today. Okay? Now, I got a lot of friends that are raising their kids right. But I go out every day and I see kids that are rude. There are people being nice to them. You see these millennials. They see, you see these X generation. And they think everything is owed to them. They think that they come for a generation where the government's going to provide for them. Their moms and dads are going to provide for them. Everybody's going to give them. Give them, give them, give them. Whiff. What's in it for me? Well, here's what's in it for you. Reality check. America is great, not because of who you're going to vote for, not because of who is out there. You know why America is great? Because the men and the women every day that are sacrificing, they're going to work, going to jobs, they have families that are taking care of their communities. It's not about the political figures, people. It's not about, you know, who, you know, it's not about scare tactics the media use. You know what is the best people in the world? Are my friends on Facebook and on Google. The best people in the world are people I went to high school with, that I was in the Marine Corps with, that I was in college with. My college professors, my mentors, my instructors, my church leaders. That's right, everybody. You just have to find the good in people. We all make mistakes. You can't change your past. Quit judging people for that. What you can do is you can make a better future for tomorrow. Look forward. Always set your goals for looking forward. Now, going back to what I originally said, set goals for yourself, okay? They write books over this stuff every day, and I'm going to give you free education. I'm going to give you free information that's right there in these books that we always tell you guys to read. You know, those ones that, you know, are pretty much paperweights or they're holding the door open or something so that nice, you know, Monday night breeze can come in your house. Here is the key to success, Put one foot in front of the other. Look at the goals that you wrote down. Now go accomplish them. When you accomplish those goals, set them a little higher. And then a little bit higher. It's like stairs. If you can't take stairs because you're in a wheelchair or something, good. Then it's like rings on a ring. You just go one after another. I don't care. You have to find a way to keep propelling yourself forward. When you go forward, if you're not scared of your dreams, this is not my quote. I will not take credit for this quote. If you're not scared of your dreams, you're not dreaming big enough. If you think where you're at today, you're never going to get ahead, then you need to find what will get you ahead. You need to push forward and find what's going to make you a better person today. Because when you become a better person, then you start setting the example. If you're the person that's following, then you don't make the rules. But if you're the person that's leading... You get to guide where you get to go. And if you can see in front of you, that's one thing I hated about when I was in the Marine Corps. I love the Marines, but when we were in formations and I had to be behind somebody, I couldn't stand it. Because we'd go miles and miles uh, you know, on marches and stuff. You know, we, we would always go miles and miles. And I hate it because you only see is the person's head behind you. I know my friends back of their heads better than they do. So what do you do? You gain rank. You keep going forward. you got to keep pushing forward. Because if not, you're always going to look at the back of somebody's head. And you know what? The sunshine is in front of everybody. The view is in front. You've still got to go forward, but you'd rather have a view going forward. Okay? So set your goals. Talk to your friends and family. Be kind to people. And always give your best. Tonight, we talked about compassion in the group I was in. We talked about... People doing things and they want credit for everything they do. They'll do it, but they need to have credit or they won't do it at all. My 
task for you. Go out and do things for people and never ask anything in return. Do not want anything in return. And if you go home at night crying like I want, then you wanted something in return. Do not want anything. But you've got to go out and give of yourself. Be a better person. Teach the children to be better children. If our kids see that we are humble but strong, then they will grow up knowing what peaceful strength is. Ronald Reagan said it best. Peaceful strength. You need to have strong strength to keep the peace. And you yourself need to be strong on the inside in order to have a better outside. I know people don't always understand what I'm talking about. But when you're in front of somebody tomorrow and you see somebody bullying or you see somebody that's just having a down day and you go up to them and say, Hey, how are you doing? My name's Jeff. I just want you to know that outfit looks great on you. Hey, my name's Jeff. That hairdo looks outstanding. Hey, my name's Jeff. You did a great job. You got a beautiful smile. My name's Jeff. And please don't call yourself Jeff when you go up to him tomorrow. And if I get a lot of people say, and I met a lot of people named Jeff like yesterday, I, I know. But here's just it. Do it for you. Do it just to do it. Do not ask anything in return. Do not expect anything back. Compassion. One of my good friends taught me that tonight. And you know, I've always known it. But you gotta feel it. You gotta do things for no other reason other than you're being kind. Be helpful. There's so much negativity in this world today that we forget that we can combat the negatively. We can get rid of all the demons by being nice. When you got a field of niceness around you, guess what? The negativity can't get in. That Facebook crap cannot get to you if you yourself are just say, okay, I'm just going to block the negativity. And that's what you do. But when people need you, be there for them. But be there for them because you want to be there for them, not because they're going to give you anything. Think of the poorest person in the world that needs a blanket. Go give them yours. Knowing they can never do anything in return for you. The humblest of people are sometimes the strongest. You know that old saying, you know, if, if somebody hits you on one tree, off from the other? It's called strength by not having aggression. Some of the people with the worst tempers, they, you would never know it because you know what? They hold themselves back because they know they ha that they're struggling not to have the aggression. But now they become a better person and after a while, it doesn't hurt anymore. A runner that runs a marathon will tell you they get that runner's high and they can't feel the pain. Feel your own personal pain inside and go out and help people and don't want anything in return. Do unto others as you would want done to yourself. I want my daughter to live in a world someday where I can trust the people around me to always do the right thing. It takes a community to raise a child. It takes a community to be a friend. I live in a great community. I'm just passing it on to everybody else. Respect our boys in blue. Respect the law enforcement. These are our people we graduated with. We went to high school with these guys. We went to college with them. Yet we now all of a sudden we want to turn on our own police officers who are out there every day. They, they have families of their own. And they're going to do the law when nobody else will. Do you want to go and do their job? If you see people treating them bad, do you want to be in their shoes when their lives are being ruined because they had to do their job? They had to make a split second choice? How about those Marines and the Army out there that are every day having to make a choice when they're on the front lines? And then they come home and you don't understand why they have PTSD. Well, don't you think these police officers and firefighters get PTSD too? Because they have to make a choice. A split second choice that determines whether or not they're going to come home to their families or not. That's why I do this. I do this because I have brothers and sisters out there tonight that are homeless. That they don't think they don't matter. They don't care. And it almost tears me up every time. Yes, I say it every day because I care about them. And it means the world to me to let people know that all it takes is a kind word. It doesn't take money. It doesn't take nothing. It just takes a handshake to say, hey, thank you for doing your job. Go to a police officer. You know what? They're my brothers too. You know why? Because they have to make split second decisions and they have families at home. We can be a little kinder in this world. 
It's an, it can be really, really ugly sometimes, but people are beautiful. And I just want you to know that each and every one of you is beautiful. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And we do care for you. And one day, the world that we leave to our children, it's going to be up to us to leave that world to them. It's not going to be our politicians. It's not going to be our congressmen or senators. It's going to be up to us. I don't care who you vote for. I don't care what your political affiliation is or even if you're going to vote. That's up to you. That's your choice. I don't care if you kneel down for the flag or you stand up for the flag. What I do do care about is that you understand what these things represent. What I do understand is the compassion to have for each other. If someone pulls a gun on me, you know what I'm going to tell them? Pull the trigger. Because if they want to take my life that bad and it means that much to them, then take it. I will stand in the way so that no one ever hurts you. And I might not even know you. But that's in the Marine Corps is what they taught us. We will stand in the way so that you can have your freedoms. And that's an analogy. Please don't ever take that serious. I mean, I would do it. But, you know, that kind of sounded gross and I really think about it. But understand this. Each one of you guys matter. Let's remember to respect our police officers. Let's remember to respect our school teachers and our nurses and everything else. And if you hear me repeating myself every single time on this, I'm going to keep repeating myself every day to let, so that people know they're out there. Our mentors, we need to say thank you to our mentors. Those people that keep on driving us and pulling us and pulling us and pulling us. You think they have to do that? No. My God, I know a guy by the name of Rich Ellerman that probably wants to basically whack me in the head a half a million times because he's my mentor. He's my teacher. He's my friend. He's a fellow Marine. He drags me kicking and screaming half the time. Does he not figure this out yet? But I'm so grateful for him. How about my dad? I'm grateful for my dad. Who are you? The reason why I'm saying this, who are you grateful for? My dad has dealt with every single one of my problems my entire life. I've got a past like nobody else's. I'm proud of my past. It made me who I am today. But my dad had to take me kicking and screaming, but I got there, didn't I? So I'm grateful for these people. I am grateful for my friend Ray who invites me to go to be around his group of friends because he feels that I need, and I do. I'm still finding myself, but I, I do. I'm grateful for him for that. I'm grateful for those that go above what they have to do. And they're doing it even for me. I'm not just out there doing it myself. These people are doing it for me also. So I know how grateful for I for them I am. I am grateful for my family. I am grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for my mentors. Do you think the Brian Crullers of the world have to be out there every day doing it? No. They do it because they care. They have compassion for us. They want us to grow. And I'm very grateful for them. The the Chris Hughes is out there. Chris Hughes, just every single day, you get around this guy. And he, he's just nothing but positive energy. I'm not positive like me, like motivated, positive, like positive. Like, okay, this is great. And this is good. You're doing an outstanding. Always has something positive to say. You don't have to be like me, motivated all the time. You just have to be caring, and they care. The ones that are actually giving you their time, and then I'll make this short. Like I posted earlier on my Facebook, the most precious thing you have in life is your time. The time you spend with your children, the time you spend with your family, the time you spend with your friends. My daughter's nine-year-old. I love her with my entire heart. And it's killing me right now it's that her grandmother, not my mom, her mom's mom, you know, is sick. And it scares me. And I might not always get along with the family, but they technically are family to me. And it makes me think of when my mom died. Now, she's not dying, but you don't know with cancer. And you don't know how many other people out there that are hurting tonight because of a terminal illness. And that's the reason why I say be good to people every day. You don't know who what people are going through. You think I'm motivated because I'm just some guy on here being motivated. I'm doing it because there are people out there that are hurting. And if you're positive around them, you could be that one person that raises them up to let them know, hey, everything's going to be okay. Not everybody's going to appreciate how my energy is. And I understand that. But they might understand what your energy is like. They might understand when you're nice to them. 
It takes a village to find the right person, to raise the right person up that is down and out, or has a terminal illness, or has a surgery that didn't go great, or might have breast cancer, or might have, uh, might have uh, 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 Alzheimer's. How about those people that have muscular dystrophy that have fought what the doctor said and proved the doctors wrong? I got a great friend of mine who told him years ago he would be in a wheelchair. He's in his 60s today. And he's still not in a wheelchair, yet he's got um, MS. Now that takes goals, guts. And him, and he's probably one of the greatest guys I know. I'm not going to say everybody's name on it because I know not everybody wants me to say their name. But when was the last time you thanked those heroes in your life? When was the last time you thanked those people that just motivated you? That, that got you to where you're at today? When was the last time you held your wife's hand and said, Honey, I love you. But looked her in the eye and said it for no other reason. Not because you heard it, but because you wanted to. When was the last time you hugged one of your friends because you cared about them? And you didn't even realize they might not hug back, but it meant the world to them. When was the last time you stopped and said, hey, instead of going drink in the night, let's go to a movie. Or hey, instead of going over there and smoking pot with all those guys over there getting wild and crazy, why don't we go, sh go to archery or go shoot guns at the gun range without pot, without pot. You know, I come from the Midwest, okay? We have gun ranges, we go hunting, you know, we shoot archery, bows and arrows, air guns, stuff like that, paintball guns. But anything to keep their mind clear so maybe to get them through the problem that they were having. Tonight, let's reflect. Some of you will pray, some of you meditate, some of you reflect. You know, think about those that have terminal illnesses that let's celebrate their life before they're gone to let them know, hey, we're going to celebrate until the day you're gone. You know what? That energy may actually give them more time on this earth. But spend it with them. Time is the most precious thing you have. Use it every day. I'm a single dad. Maybe someday I'll meet the right woman. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I hope so. But I'm going to spend every waking minute with my daughter. I guarantee you that. Until she turns like a teenager. And then... Yeah, I don't know then. <laughs> Let's not worry about that right now. But spend that with those that you love the time you've got. Okay? That's my sermon. That's my speech for tonight. Be there for people because you don't know whose life you can save. And each one of you matter. Each one of you has made a difference. And each one of you has been great to somebody. Keep doing it. It doesn't cost anything to be great to somebody. To shake a hand, to give a hug, to tell you I love you, to tell you I care, to send an email, to say how you're doing, to do anything. You don't have to have intentions. Just do it because you want to. You don't have to have no alternative motive whatsoever. Ray, thank you for bringing me to class tonight. My Marine Corps family, every one of you guys matter. Please know each one of you guys matter. I pray for you guys every single day and every single night. And I'm going to pray right now for you right now. If you guys want to join me, join me. If you don't, you don't. That's okay. But I'm going to pray for you because I believe in you and I love you and I think you're great. And I can't be with you and I can't be there for you. I'm going to pray for my family. I'm going to pray for the Marines. And I want you guys to join me if you can. Will you guys pray with me? I mean, I believe in God, and I believe in Jesus, and I believe in you. And if you think for a minute that I didn't think this would matter, it does. Because I was the guy on the bottom once. I was the guy that was being kicked that I thought nobody cared about. I was the guy that everybody thought, oh, he's on top, and he did this. Let's get the rumors and the gossip going on him and everything else, and it hurt to know... There were so many people out there that were willing to believe. I got through it because of the great people. And I got pulled up by those that mattered the most. And I found out who my friends were. But I also found out there was a lot of other people hurting down there with me. And we helped each other. And then I found out that my Marine Corps brothers, some of them weren't coming home. Not necessarily from combat or anything like that, just 
they weren't coming home. And then I found out there's a lot of veterans, 22 a day. Do the math, 22. What? Every day. And then I look at these cops that are on the street every day. A lot of my Marine Corps buddies and Army buddies became police officers. And then we got people yelling and fighting because they don't want to have law and order. They think all the cops are bad. But then they go burn down Walmarts and CVS stores. It turns out those people don't even live in those cities. I watch every day of amazing kids that have disabilities walk, run when they were told they never could. Kids that have Down syndrome that are basically weightlifting and doing more than some of my friends who are sitting lazy on the couch playing Xbox doing nothing else with their life. I see kids with handicaps that you never know they have a handicap because they're so active and they're beautiful. You know what I know something? They're going places and I'm praying for them tonight. Just like I'm praying for those little lonely. I'm praying for the kids that need prayers. I'm praying because I'm thankful. And I'm praying for each one of you. Dear God in heaven, please watch over all of my family and friends. Please be with those that are less fortunate tonight. That are homeless and hungry. That are on the streets. That they can find warmth. Please show those who do not have kindness in their life. Please send those warriors out to show them kindness, a handshake, a hug, a happy smile, a please, a thank you. Please be with all of our soldiers, sailors, marines, army, air force, coast guard that are overseas, that are in the United States, that are missing their families. Please be with those that have PTSD, that have muscular dystrophy, that have Down syndrome that have handicaps, please be with the children, that they're beautiful and people open their eyes to them. Please be with each one of us and each one of them so that they see how great they are. Please be with all the police officers out there tonight that are working the beat, that they, are, they get home safe and that they show compassion and compassion is showed towards them. Please be with all of our firefighters and our school teachers and our doctors and our nurses and a nurse practitioners. Please be with all those people that need you tonight. Good and bad. We know we we're sinners. And we know there's we were born with it. But show us. Please show people some happiness and some peace. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of death. Amen. And please be with those tonight that have terminal illnesses or that are older that we can just be with them and celebrate their life every single day and they know that they matter to us. Amen. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a blessed night. I care about you guys. And I know there's some people that say you repeat yourself every single day. You know what? I'm going to keep repeating myself every single day on Daily Reflections. And when new things come up, we'll pray for that or we'll, we'll talk about it or we'll do whatever it takes. This is not a religious program. This is just me letting people know they matter. This is me letting everybody in the world know that you need to read with your kids. You need to you need to pray with your kids, read with your kids, do activities with your kids, but do them with your family and friends too. Call those loved ones you haven't talked to in a long time. You know, sometimes doing it, it's not always about you. Sometimes you got to do it for them. And in the end, if it causes you to be happy too, great. You know, I don't know how to carve a pumpkin, but I did one yesterday. You know, I didn't know how to put down a marble machine together, but Gracie and I did one yesterday. Just try. Set goals for yourself. Accomplish them. Set your goals high. If you're not dreaming big, you need to dream bigger. If you're not scared of your dreams, dream bigger. My name's Jeffrey Jansen. I'm just getting started. And you're my friend. And I appreciate each one of you. Do not forget that. Have a great night, everybody.
God bless.